Give it up for Le'Veon Bell, ladies and gentlemen. I like the drip, by the way, Le'Veon. All set. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Le'Veon Bell in the house. And now, this man ranks fifth all-time in rushing yards as he has nearly 15,000 yards rushing a member most notably of the Minnesota Vikings. Why do I know he was a member of the Purple and Gold? Because he thrashed my squad, the Chicago Bears, many, many times within the NFC North, but I'm happy to see him compete in the boxing ring. Please welcome AP, Adrian Peterson. What's up, AP? Good to see you. You too, fella. Well, I gotta tell you, I have been sitting in between specimen, but when I look at both men, I feel like they can still run wild over NFL defenses, but now they compete inside the boxing ring, social gloves to a battle of the running backs, Le'Veon Bell, Adrian Peterson. Le'Veon, I'll start with you. Jumping into this new sport, you've never failed at anything athletically in your life. What is this like as you get ready to make your ring walk on Saturday? Um. You know, I, th I think it's a great opportunity. You know, I think I got a great opponent. Um, I'm on a, a big stage. You know, shout out to Social Gloves for having me um, and giving me the opportunity. Um, you know, I get to be in front of a lot of people and showcase my skills and um, show what I've been working hard on. Now, Adrian, you mentioned that Le'Veon was already on the card, but then, you know, they selected you. Uh, when they called you to fight Le'Veon Bell, what went through your mind? You have mentioned that you still want to be active in the NFL, but this is a little bit of, a, I have to say, a stop in your athletic journey. Yeah, um, so initially, I didn't know who exactly I would be fighting, um, you know, but I told him I was definitely interested in, in getting in the ring and, you know, um, you know, after communicating a couple conversations, you know, Le'Veon name came up, you know, so I was like, yeah, you know, I'm down for that. We can get in there and, and rumble. Now, Le'Veon, for you, what has the training been like as you prepare to take on Adrian Peterson? Um, you know, I've just been doing a lot of, you know, obviously running, um, a lot of rounds and mitts, um, you know, a lot of sparring. Um, I understand, you know, AP, one of those guys, you know, you look at his football career, he's one of those guys who always come in shape. He's always in better shape than everybody else. Um, he works hard. So um, I just try my best to kind of, you know, beat that, meet that level, try to, you know, exceed that level if I can, you know what I'm saying? But really just hard work, uh, dedication, a lot of hours. Adrian, I know you've been working with Marshall Kaufman training in the gym. What have you learned during your boxing training that you are looking to display on Saturday? What have I learned? Um, you know, just really, you know, with Marshall Kaufman and James Cooper, you know, just really learning how to pick your shots, you know, being smart, you know, um, you know, people look at my football style, and of course, I kind of, I'll be able to transition that into the ring as well, but, you know, I could, in, in football, I was able to be a little out of control at times, and in boxing, you have to be really precise and, um, you know, pick, you know, where you're going to, you know, try to deliver that, that knockout blow. So I'll be calling the fight alongside Paulie Malinaji and Mikey Garcia, but as I look at this fight, what I am seeing is similar to that of your running styles. I look at Le'Veon Bell being, you know, he, he's, he's very quick. He looks for his openings. You know, he has patience, but then he seizes the opportunity. For you, having watched you very closely within the NFC North, big, strong, powerful, explosive, do you feel like your running styles will translate to the boxing ring? <clears throat> yeah, but, you know, kind of like I just said, you have to be, boxing is a totally different ball game, you know, so... You have to be patient. You know, you got to understand, you know, um, you know, where you need to deliver your blows and win as well. So, you know, I'm not going to be out there just throwing haymakers. You know, that's, you know, that, that wouldn't be my style if I didn't play football the way I did. Um, you got to be smart. It's a different, it's a different arena when you're in that ring. You got to be smart, pick your, you know, pick your shots and, and, you know, be good with your defense. I also saw, if I'm correct, I believe you knocked out somebody on social media that we saw with, with the big shot. Can you tell us about displaying your power? I think you even told me that I didn't even think I hit him that hard, and then he tumbled right away. Yeah, man, it was uh, some good sparring happening. It was uh, the, towards the end, the last minute of the, the fifth round, and, uh, you know, he threw a, com a good combination. You know, I, I was able to block it. 
I thought the block was terrible, but I blocked that shit. Um, and then just came back with the left and was able to squeeze it between his guard with the right, and uh, I landed, you know, and I didn't really feel like I hit him with a lot of power. But, um, you know, I was just talking to some of the fighters, they say, hey, that's kind of how it goes, man. Like Marlene and my, my boy Joe that's out there in the, in the crowd right now, it was like, hey, it'll be that punch that you don't feel like was really a knockout punch. Once it touch somebody, you know, it'll, it'll lay them down. Le'Veon, for you, do you think your running style is going to translate to the boxing ring? You know, you heard AP mention about that in boxing you have to be patient, look for your openings. I mean, watching you for many, many years, that's exactly what you did when you were looking for the hold. You amassed over 6,000 yards rushing. That is not easy to do at the highest level regarding the NFL. Yeah, um, you know, like, like you both said, you know, um, I think a lot of patience, you know, you need in the ring. Um, you know, not using too much, you know, energy, obviously, uh, you know, picking and picking and choosing your shots, you know, finding, you know, when to turn it up and when not to, you know what I'm saying? So it, it all depends on, um, it, it's different in football because, you know, football, you get a play, you run the play. You know, boxing is more like, you know, ain't no play, just, I guess, one long ass play, you know what I'm saying? You just, you playing, you know what I'm saying? You just, you boxing, you know, getting a read on guys um, as you go. You can get different reads as you go. So um, I just think my, my football transition, on the boxing, it helped me out in a sense of guys' patience. How fitting is it that both of you guys are going to be fighting one day before the first Sunday of the year? The NFL season kicks off tonight officially, but it's the night before the first Sunday of the year. Let me on to go with you. Do you feel like bragging rights are in the, on the line because <laughs> Sports Center, all your friends in the league, they're all going to be watching because they all got games on Sunday? Right, right. You know, uh, you know, it is fitting, you know, um, that, you know, me and AP, the one, you really kind of be jumping that off, you know. Uh, we've been, you know, headlining a lot of NFL games, you know, so the fact that, you know, we're on the card and um, we got NFL guys who support both sides and they're going to be watching us, you know, before the season starts off. So it is kind of cool to think about. AP, I feel like the whole league's going to be watching you guys on Saturday. They're all going to be in their hotel rooms getting ready for their games on Sunday and Monday. Do you feel like bragging rights are on the line on Saturday between you and Le'Veon Bell? Uh, of course, you know, um, kind of like Le'Veon said, you know, um, you know, being the headlines playing in, in the National Football League is kind of similar, you know. So, yeah, I know I'm going in with the mindset to get the dub, and of course, he's he's he has the same mindset, and we got our peers watching. You know, these guys gonna be in the lunchroom, you know, with the jumbotron, you know, just like back in the day. But this time, it's gonna be me and Le'Veon one on one facing off, you know. So. We know the guy's gonna be watching us and we gotta put on the show without a doubt. All right, finally, AP, Adrian Peterson, your prediction against Le'Veon Bell Saturday night here in LA on pay-per-view. At the end of the day, I'm leaving with a dub. All right, AP's predicting a dub no matter what. Le'Veon Bell, when you take on Adrian Peterson, social gloves too on pay-per-view, your prediction, sir? Yeah, I'm obviously confident in myself, you know, so I'm obviously gonna go in the ring, um, showcase my skill to the world, um, and show people, you know, why I'm here and why I'm doing this. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Le'Veon Bell, Adrian Peterson, a round of applause as they're going to have the final stare down. I love this fight, especially because it merges my favorite worlds, football and boxing. Give it up for Adrian Peterson, Le'Veon Bell, a battle of the NFL running backs. Social Gloves 2 from the Bank of California Stadium on pay-per-view. It is hard pressed to find two athletes in better shape.